A long way to go this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in the title race. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Can you please make... And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting eleven for Salford City. Well, it's a defensive-looking lineup, but if the wing-backs break forward, the midfield will get close. Can he put it away? And danger still! The referee has given them a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Still not clear. The free kick awarded by the referee. Balled over the top. Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Could be! And it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? position but you have to say he's adjusted rather well and let's face it if the last few fixtures are anything to go by it could become the norm Stuart well he's been an absolute dream for the coach as you said he's adapted really well to this new position oh Stuart a chance and a goal calls for celebrations again two in front well as you can see here all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. Yes, it's a goal for Barrow. It's now one minute, 18 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Yusuf Abdul Isak. accurately capable of better Steered out of play and a throw in coming up it clearly was deflected so it will be their throw in 
judges tilt. to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, that one has promise. And quick thinking defensively. Now I'm hearing that something has happened in one of the other venues. A goal there. Alex Scott with the news. to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And the challenge holds them in their tracks. A really good pass. Can he find the net? Corner kick forthcoming. Trying to pick out a teammate. And swept out of there. acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the home side they're on top Stuart well we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game and it's been the same old story today far too Right. 
Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Pike. Rose. Can he take them on and beat them? Well, nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. He has teammates around him. He's unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Not the best challenge, free kick. weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes an effective challenge well, here's some transfer news you'll want to hear all about Carvajal has completed his move to Chelsea yeah I like the look of it I think it's a good move for both him and the club let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly and easily intercepted get tighter can they convert and there is the goal he's found the net joy unconfined so they get the ball moving again 3-1 the scoreline here what's going to happen next Gideon Jung McLennan Davis what well it's a decent looking attack this well that's one for them to pursue he might be able to make it through oh a moment of pure class had to catch it perfectly and didn't he just well here it is ball that is over the top of the defence it's weighted perfectly and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hit it's it with power and accuracy nothing the people can do about that goals in plentiful supply 4-1 currently Denver Hume. Harry Clifton. Pike. And the cross goes in. A decisive clearance it was. decided that the injury is sufficiently serious for play to be stopped treatment required well he let them go on but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation yeah and he was always going to be booked for that challenge it was a poor one you have to say well they've decided to make a change and so play will be restarted by means of a drop ball Some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Carr Alexandra. A bit of kidology with this one because he sent the keeper the wrong way. It's now 2-1 with 10 minutes left on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Oh, great vision. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Says he will get the throw in. Determined defending. Well, we 
we've entered the final five minutes. And nicely over the top. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. But really sticking to the task defensively. comes and efficient defending ideal for the goalkeeper for any keeper and there it is the final whistle and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces well we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game and once again they delivered for me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.